played through the entire story of dying like two and then dragged me down into a questionable mental state. This is my friend Bradley. Say hi Bradley. <laughs> Someone please help. But before I got there, I went through a lot of things. Do, 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 do. Okay, what the f And you must hear the full story Fortnite, first. Fortnite, Fortnite, Fortnite. The beginning of the game was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh my god. I met up with Spike from Dying Light 1. We went to this house. Look, Spike, I'm hitting the gritty. <laughs> and had a beer together. I wish Crane could have seen this. <laughs> but things got serious when he gave me important information. Information that was so critical that it started my meaningful journey through dying like two. Vincent Waltz. Long story short, this man is a scientist who did experiments on me and my sister Mia when we were kids. <laughs> Which is crazy. I was crazy once. He locked me into a room. A room filled with what kids? What the fuck? So, I must find Waltz and save my sister Mia. That's the mission. Okay, this is the house. Very exciting. <laughs> I went to this house for a good reason. Answers. But those don't come easy nowadays. Zombies? There are zombies in this game. Can you believe it, guys? There are zombies in this game. <laughs> <laughs> what am I even looking at? Is that XQC? <laughs> Unluckily for this fella, I got that disability. This ability to kick his ass. After I cleared out the zone around the house, I spoke with a man who had information about my sister and what. He wanted to meet in person, in Old Villador. The plan was simple. Jump into the water, swim to the land, crucify the bikers with the holy bat, go through this unstable thing, and enter the meeting spot. Oh sure man, this is the best place to meet. What a nice idea man, what a nice idea. Are you kidding me right now? Ah, there you go! I knew it! I knew it! Yes! Flare that thing! Flare it! I passed out because of the lack of vitamin D in my body and woke up to absolutely nothing. Hello? Minutes later, I found the informant beaten up. Where's Mia? You will go to fish eye. But he wasn't alone. Bandits? There are bandits in this game, guys. Can you believe that? Now let me tell you something. The combat is awesome. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! To my surprise, the bandits were only the top of the iceberg. And man, things got crazy real quick. Words appeared out of nowhere and killed the informant. <laughs> I started running for my life when suddenly the ground disappeared, making me swim in the disgusting water again. And things got only worse when I found what I assumed was a safe place, but they wanted to hang me. Like Jesus Christ! What's up? Jesus Christ? Believe it or not, this was the start of something beautiful. Someone saved me. A true hero. Hakon. No, I don't know too much about this dude, but he probably says Hakon na Matata a lot. <laughs> he was kind enough to bring me back to his place, give me medicine, and kill the spider on my forehead with a bat. <laughs> Look at this place, dude. Sick. <laughs> Not bad. So, what now? Should we kiss? <laughs> Little did we know that in just three minutes, we would be shitting our pants. Now, here is the situation. We have one hour until night time, and I must get a biomarker before that happens. What's a biomarker, you ask? It monitors the progress of the infection in your body, and without it, you won't be accepted here. We ran to the spot where Hakon saw a biomarker, but found nothing. Not only that, I wasted so much time climbing up this thing... Oh, come on! ...that we were out of time. Oh my god, Hakon, the zombies, they are out, what the hell? Our only hope was the bazaar. Run, boy, run. They're trying to stop you. This is pretty chill, though. <laughs> where they, of course, didn't let us in. Bro, biomarker racism, it is real. And this was the point where Hakon surprised me. You see, Hakon is the dude who knows another dude in every dude required situation. Open up! Are you following me? So yeah, we ran to his friend's house where we almost got killed, but in the last second he saved us. Thanks, Killian. Very cool. He also told me not to trust people so easily. Now why would he say that? I don't understand. Do you understand? Because I don't. 
Killian let me stay there for a while and later that night the game showed me that it can get crazier than this. Hacon found a biomarker at a place that gave me goosebumps. Oh god. The GRE hospital. Or as the people here call it, the GRE hospital. It is known for being full of trouble. Sleeping gears. I don't like this man. I do not like this. After sneaking through the biters, we were super close to getting the biomarker. But I fell off like a Minecraft YouTuber after the pandemic. <laughs> Since the years of being a survivor didn't give me any muscle strength, I had to use drugs. I mean, an inhibitor, which gives you health or stamina. Okay, now I can make it. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Harry, I found the markers. That's also nice. After we found the biomarker, I thought that the hard work was done. I couldn't have been more wrong. You're about to tell oh! Gaming. Oh, long time no see, brother. Long time no see. Bro, this feels like that one scene from I Am Legend. Crazy. That's Haram. This is zombie Haram. It was right after this that everything changed. The prologue was over. It was time for the real gaming to begin. <laughs> I'm gonna kill everyone. <laughs> it was time for the plan. Which got me locked up. What? So I told Hakon that I needed to get to the other side of the city to save my sister. He came up with the genius idea of using the metro tunnels. Help! But the main entrance was guarded by the peacekeepers. Yeah! So Hakon came up with another genius idea. Let's go through the dangerous part, bro. It will be fun, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. It also didn't have that the game had no sound. This place is a bit too quiet, isn't it, guys? <laughs> Eventually, I made it to Peacekeeper territory. All I needed to do here was just to wait for Hakon and go to the other side. Oh, hello there, buddy. Pew! You are not going anywhere. <laughs> and yeah, now I'm here with the man himself, Aether. They won't let us through the tunnels and the reason behind it is a bit complicated. So bear with me. You see, there is a huge drama going on in Old Villador. A peacekeeper commander named Lucas got brutally killed and nobody knows who did it. The only logical solution? Hire a random dude from outside the city to find the killer instead of any other skilled officer. Yeah, so from now on I was a detective, I guess. This town must fear me. This detective stuff sounded fun as hell. Look at this, guys. Look at this. <laughs> it all started with Hubert. Wait, I just wanna buy something. Come on, boy, you think you can outrun me, huh? You think you can outrun me? Okay, I lost him. Uh, I can smell you. In the name of the Yogurt Mill Society, you are arrested. He told me that someone tried to sell him the commander's weapon, the Lazarus. I couldn't even imagine how dangerous someone must be to steal this kind of weapon. Probably a monster. I'm not scared. I'm a yogurt me a bit. Bro, what is this place? Um, hello? Turns out she just looted it from the corpse. Amazing. Since this wasn't enough for Aether, I had to continue my investigation at the bazaar. First I met the leader, Carl, who asked me if I was a wolf or a sheep. I respectfully answered, none of them. I'm a creature. Then I met Sophie, the co-owner of this place, and this dude, Herman. Herman, huh? Are you Herman? <laughs> Get it? Fucking pussy. Oh, fuck. I'm not joking, man. I'm not joking. These two people were completely different, but had one thing in common. They didn't trust me. So I tried to earn their trust. It went bad. First I wanted to have this dude with his science project, but we killed the goat instead. <laughs> <laughs> then I tried to have this dude with his family problems, but he killed himself. Oh my god. <laughs> now listen what Sophie had to say about these things. I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. Useful things? 
The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What? Sophie gave me a job that sounded short and easy, but instead, it started a long process that not only helped me to find the killer of Lucas, but got me to the better part of the game too. So here is everything I did. I went into a dark place to get some crystals and save Sophie's brother. Open the door. Barney. I hate this guy, man. Bandits wanted the same crystals in exchange for water, but betrayed us instead. Oh my god, bro. As an answer to this, we raided their base. The bandits didn't like this, so they wanted to blow up the water tower. With C4. That's where I met their leaders. Jack and Joe. Goodbye, bizarre. It's okay, guys, I removed the bomb. I had to fight them, but... Um, how should I say this? They weren't jacked enough, so it was Jover for them. <laughs> this was the part where the game introduced an exciting system. The city alignment system. Wow! Whenever you unlock a bigger place, such as the water tower, you can assign it to peacekeepers or the survivors. Both have their benefits. Now since I'm a good boy, I gave it to the survivors. survivors. <laughs> but maybe this was a bad idea. Jack told Detective Shari something important. Barney wanted to trap the commander, because the commander wanted Barney behind bars. This is very suspicious. Maybe Sophie's brother killed Lucas? I even found the commander's skin in Barney's apartment. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, so I beat the shit out of Barney. And if it wasn't for Sophie's timing, I would have killed him. They started crying and saying that it wasn't them, and someone was setting them up. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. Now why would they say that? I don't understand. Do you understand? Because I don't. I was about to leave them when Sophie made an offer that I couldn't resist. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. Did you hear that? She will help me to the other side of the city. I only had to do one last thing. <laughs> Which will... <coughs> blow your mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you will get this joke in a second. I will blow this windmill up! Yeah, this is good. This will be funny. What the hell? I think it's obvious that I couldn't do this alone. Because I'm stupid. What is happening? Okay. Okay. But believe me, I had the best team for the job. Let me introduce you to Alberto! And his son, Vincenzo! Whoa! Alberto sent me out to get the bombs for the job, but the peacekeepers took them. Not only this guy, but Alberto also warned me that someone sold us out. Now why would they say that? Do you understand? Because I don't understand. And if I don't understand... <laughs> Despite the bad news, I managed to make a new friend. <laughs> Meet Win. He's such a cutie pie. Oh my god, guys. Just look at his face. <laughs> it would be an unfortunate if his lungs got crushed by concrete. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. After fighting these god awful creatures and finding the bombs, it was time for the real deal. Alberto! Let's do this, puppy. You see, this mission was very special. I actually wasn't doing this for myself, I was doing this for Alberto. <laughs> This guy was bullied, and nobody respected him since I came here. It's okay, Alberto, we got this, buddy. We got this. <laughs> this was his time to shine. Come on, send it, Alberto. Yes! Yes! He's still standing, what the fuck? Now here comes the fun part. An armed bomb. It will blow any second! Run! My brother in Christ, I just came down from there. Now I need to go back again. <laughs> Come on, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> Climb and jump and climb and jump and climb and jump and climb. Yes! Finally! This better be good, bro. Yes! <laughs> I didn't even know that this would have so many consequences. Alberto! Oh. With his last breath, he had one thing to say. Tell everyone we pulled this off thanks to Vincenzo. They laugh at him. Laugh because of me. But now that we've done this, they won't laugh anymore. Say it was him. 
and tell him. Tell him I'm proud. Never told him that. Son, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Alberto's death made me realize the most important thing in life. Family. I must get to the other side. Thanks to Vincenzo, we created chaos, and the peacekeepers left the tunnel. Perfect timing for Hakon and me to escape. But instead... Yeah, where are we at? <laughs> Relax, you're gonna pull through. No way. What's that? No way. The wound from the Lazarus? It was him all along. He killed the commander, set up Barney with the skin, sold us out to the peacekeepers, and the craziest thing yet, he was working for Volts. I know, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. After this, I was finally on my way to the other side. I even met Waltz himself, Boy. twice. Where is he? I just had to deal with the sniper first. I'm gonna find that sniper first. Ah. Oh my God, is that really necessary? Just wait until I get there, buddy, I will cut your nuts off. I'm coming for you. Come on. <laughs> okay, now I'm really mad. <laughs> My nuts! <laughs> my precious nuts! With my heart and nuts destroyed, I was done. I just wanted to leave. This place looks... Um, safe? <laughs> this tunnel was full of surprises. First I encountered this thing. Oh my god, just give me a break! And then Aether. I swear to god, if you send me back, I will blow up something. But they were irrelevant. The most surprising thing was Watts himself. He went crazy and was like, He also hit me back to oblivion, stole my Jiyariki, and when I woke up, I was surrounded by renegades. The average person would have died there. But me, I got that dog in me. What's happening to me? After I dealt with the renegades, I went to get my Jiyariki back from Daddy Worlds. The car factory was full of renegades. But that didn't stop me. And after killing everyone, it was time yeah. to face Wards. What is up, big boy? Pussy. Oh. Honestly, I thought I was gonna die. But then the sniper came and saved me. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a twist, ladies and gentlemen. What a twist. Did you see this coming? Because I did. Not! It was time to run. Because unluckily for us, Waltz also had that dog in him. Bro, oh, this girl is so fast. What is happening? Like literally teleporting, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> the average horse cock is. Oh, hello there, mate. Bro, he's right behind me. The shooting, please. Thank you. That was sick. The sniper's name was Levan. And in that moment, I didn't even realize what she had done for me. She led me to the other half of the city. Look! Lights here too? The central loop. Oh my god, finally, man. Jesus. And the city this big requires a proper tool for transportation. Alright, let's see. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's a bit slow, though. Since the power was unstable in the city, I went to an electrical station. I met some peacekeepers there. You guys know this one? What do the bullets say to the man that got shot? Just passing through. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't a big deal. However, something else piqued my interest. Alright, alright, alright. I need to connect one to one. I wish Alberto could have seen this. <laughs> This is easy! We have puzzles in this game, guys. Can you believe that? We have puzzles in this game. Big brain, guys. Big brain movements. Brother, whoever came up with this idea should get a raise. I really liked it. I really, really liked it. I gave the station to the survivors and got the airbags. 
which I never used. Now I don't know if you remember this, but at the beginning of the game the informant said this. Where's Mia? You will go to fish eye. Get to the fish eye, he said. And I was right there. Ladies and gentlemen, the fish eye. I met Lavan and his friend Daniel. Bro, I don't speak Italian. And the next night runner named Frank. He reminded me of myself when I read your chat messages. We were just about to discuss our next step when the renegades attacked us. With cannons. Oh my god! Come here, you little shit! Come on, man, just pull it out! Unlike you're dead. You could say that this is a cannon event. After we dealt with the renegades, we discussed our very epic next step, <laughs> the GRE database. This database had information about my sister, Waltz, and me, but it was unreachable. I started tweaking. I just need one mission where everything goes as planned. Please! Luckily there was a guy who could help me with this problem. He was at the peacekeeper's headquarters. Jack Matt. Now I will be honest with you. I don't trust this guy. I heard he tried to go back in time to get rid of the Mesopotamian farmer. Like not cool dude. However, not only did he offer me information about the GRE place, but also gave me an opportunity that I'd been waiting for for too long. Oh yeah baby! That's what I've been waiting for! Nothing can ruin this very important moment. Like why would anyone ruin this? Okay, so I'm about to go up with the boys to the top. But man, the things I had to do to come here. <laughs> yeah, it was interesting. First I got UV lamps for the outpost. <laughs> With the help of this weirdo who offered me a threesome after I gave him whiskey. 16 year old. What? I assumed I was too weak for the job. What's your relationship like with your father? So I leveled up by doing parkour challenges. What? I missed? GRE anomalies. Dark hollows. Whoa, guys, go somewhere private, please. And quarantine zones. Wow. At this point, I was like, okay, I've done enough. Let's climb the tower now. <laughs> but the game had the audacity. Ah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I mean, the last one was pretty easy, so this won't be that hard, right? Easy as that. <laughs> Give me that number two, please. Thank you. Okay, where should I put this? What? This one is closed. Oh my god, it's not long enough. I'm too tired for this dude. What? What? This station put me in a questionable state. <laughs> I had to resort to evil methods. <laughs> this is my friend Bradley. Say hi, Bradley. <laughs> hey, buddy. Man, what the fuck is this game? What the fuck? Listen to me, Shadi. You must take me to the top of the VNC tower. You must take me to the top and set me free. Okay. With Bradley on my side, it was time. Attention pilgrims, it is time for the best mission in the game. I was also accompanied by the boys. Wierzbowski, Hudson, Berislov, Naruto, Sasuke and Lieutenant Rowe himself. With these people, nothing can go wrong. Okay, what the fuck? We arrived at the 13th floor, Wierzbowski did a recon and it was time to... After I woke up, dude, this was crazy. I had no idea what to do. Stay here, Bradley. It's way too dangerous. Everyone was dead. But there was one body missing. Aiden! If you see a fallen man, please take his tag. They deserve it, son. Yep. Rest in peace, bro. With Rose's death, I was all alone. It's okay, Bradley. It's, it's gonna be alright. 
almost there. But not for long. Zombies? Stay here, Bradley. I will take this. Oh, Bradley! Yeah. yeah. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> After showing the zombies the dog that I got in me, Luan called me with the former Night Runner, Frank. He was in the tower with his team in the past, but everyone died except for him. With Frank's help, I found a tool that started something unforgettable. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! Okay, Bradley, are you ready? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> The climb was amazing. You will never get me! <laughs> it's great on a crate! Get it? As I was getting higher and higher... Look at this view, man! And we are not even on the top! I actually got more and more excited! Bradley, I can't believe we are doing this, man! Like, can you believe this? Look at that, boy. Smooth operator. We are almost there, boys. We are almost there. I'm gonna set you free, Bradley, any second now. Reaching the top genuinely felt so... Good. Yes! That's it! That's it, bitches! Look at that, Bradley! Look at that! We made it! <laughs> that suddenly... Thank you, Shadi. You have fulfilled my destiny and took me to the top. Now you must throw me into eternity to complete the cycle. Okay. There was one more hard choice I had to make. You see, I climbed this tower for two reasons. One was Bradley's destiny, and the other was to give the radio to the peacekeepers so they would tell me more information about the GRE place. But as I was climbing, a washed up drunk changed my mind. He told me about Radio New Hope, messages for survivors, to bring people together. I chose Frank. This choice, however, caused a huge problem for me, but first... Ah! The one came after me and in the process, her sneakers got ruined. So she told me to get new ones for her, in her old apartment. Go ahead and get some sneakers for me. This place had everything an average apartment has. Art! Trendy furniture, an inhibitor that is a special chemical injection that helps to combat the Hara virus, and the modern kitchen! <laughs> After I found the shoes, I discovered something wild. What? I knew <laughs> it! I knew it all along! <laughs> yeah, they were together. Ah. Now I understand why she wanted to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I also can't stop thinking about this bed and how Hakon used to lay on it butt naked. Let's move on with the story. Since I broke Levan's little heart, I went to her rooftop to make her smile, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean, you know! Looking at the stars. Man, the stars won't suck my dick. Now, good night, Eden. I just got rejected. Wow. Not only did I get rejected thanks to my negative Riz, but after I woke up, I had to face the consequences of my own actions. I gave the radio station to Frank, so what does that tell you? I won't get any information from Jack Matt on the GRE place. As I was letting my anger out the right way, beating zombie woman, Frank called me on the radio. He told me that for some reason the renegades were looking for me. To get more info about what they were up to, I had to climb once again. Brother, I just climbed the biggest tower in the game, and now you want me to climb another one? Say no more, brother. After climbing the building and turning on the free HBO, I got lured into a trap. Oh my god, I don't wanna do this now. The renegade's trap was the least surprising thing here. The true moment of amazement was waiting for me on St. Paul Island. What? An old friend. Why did you want to meet, Hakon? Sadly, Hakon wasn't there to chit chat. He was there to get the GRE key from me with the renegades. So this is it. The showdown between two best friends. Or better, we'll be legendary! Oh my god! <laughs> Hakon died. I couldn't keep watching his dead body. So I left. What? Brother, how are you still alive? Like, what? What are you doing here? Levan wanted to kill Hakon, 
but I convinced her not to. Please, 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 please. Back at the fish eye, Frank made us night runners, which was cool and all, but it was a bit cringe. Oh God, what are you doing? The only useful thing here was Frank's information about the GRE place. He found someone who used to work there. Veronica Ryan. I'm simping for this woman so hard, you don't understand. <laughs> She's everything I need. <laughs> it would be a shame if something happened to her, right? Veronica gave me some type of juice that made me immune to the vomit outside the observatory. Thanks to that I was able to enter the building, go through a horde of zombies, turn the electricity back on and let her in. You know, I wish I could hear all of this. I don't think you guys realized what was happening here. This was a date. The date went great. We did some rewiring, walked through the observatory together, beat up some renegades and even found the database we were looking for. <laughs> But all this time I couldn't stop thinking about that even on low graphic settings FSR 2.0 performance mode, she looked gorgeous. <laughs> but words came and ruined everything. We started fighting, the rocket blew us up, and then the dog in me took over and killed Veronica. <laughs> I will remember this, Teclan. Shari never forgets. I'm coming for you. Veronica's death and the missiles were just the beginning. As I was talking with Levan, another building collapsed. Now you and I know that it was Waltz, that's 100%. But Frank and the others thought it was the Butcher. Who is the Butcher, you ask? I don't know. Anyway, Frank wanted to negotiate a deal with the Butcher's people, but it didn't go well. Frank died. I immediately rushed to catch the Butcher's truck and avenge him. I'm coming for you, brother. I'm gonna catch you. Anytime now. After tracking down the truck, running through dark zones and fighting renegades, I forced Steve to get me to the butcher's place. It was full of people. Oh my god, dude. So what does that tell you? I had to sneak past them. Be the grass. I am the grass. Shari ninja mode activated. Okay, I don't think I'm doing a nice job here. Like, come on guys, I'm just here to negotiate. The view is nice though. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, maybe that was a bit too much, you know. It didn't take me long to reach the butcher's place and get ready to kill him. The butcher? We have the butcher in the game, guys. Can you believe that? We have the butcher in the game. I'm gonna kill you. But I didn't do it. It was close. Whoa, guys. Hold your horses, gentlemen. What the fuck? But I didn't expect the huge twist in the story here. You see, everyone was portraying the butcher as the bad guy. Everyone thought that this man shot Frank, but he only sent Steve. And Steve wouldn't do it, just look at his cute face. <laughs> so what does that tell you? Someone set us up. Again. But who was it? Hakon? Luan? Gazi? Jack Matt. I knew it! I knew it all along! Since the Mesopotamian farmers did! He ordered the hit on Frank and wanted to kill the butcher to hide the evidence. And the best part wasn't even when the peacekeepers didn't listen to Jack's orders, it was when the night runners came to save me. Avengers assemble! Like dude! <laughs> Twists and night runners aside, it was time to settle everything. Let's kick us some renegade butts. The butcher said Waltz was heading to a top secret GRE laboratory. Hmm, I wonder where that laboratory is. The X-13. <laughs> this place was full of danger. Mostly renegades. But the zombies said quality over quantity this time. Oh my god. Levon joined me for a short period, but got shot and had to get escorted by Hakon. That was cringe. Oh, what have they done to you, little bird? <laughs> I felt more comfortable under a truck surrounded by volatiles. Oh my God. Jokes aside, I was getting closer to Waltz. More flashbacks, more renegades, and more powerful renegades. Damn. It was time, face to face with Waltz. This was my opportunity to save my sister and kill Waltz. I was way too excited about this. Oh my God, he's right here and we are gonna fight. <laughs> yes! Imagine my disappointment. When the game told me the worst joke that ever existed. Mia is my daughter. <laughs> Mia is Waltz's daughter, not my sister. Wait a second, that means... I'm adopted? 
Oh my god, really? I played this game for 30,000 hours. I'm not joking. Just to get hit with the... You are adopted. <laughs> ah! Ah! We had an epic rap battle of history with Watts. And in the end, <laughs> you cannot touch me. I beat the shit out of him because once again, I got that dog in me. Ah! Sadly, the missiles couldn't be stopped because unfortunately, someone destroyed the GRE access key. <laughs> I had to choose between saving Mia or the one who wanted to blow herself up to save the city. As you know, I'm a generous person, and I wouldn't take away the opportunity from Levan to show how independent and strong she is. Oh my god, what is happening? My hand is moving on its own! Oh no, oh no! X-13 blew up, Mia survived for 30 minutes, and Levan survived too! Hakon saved him! Yeah! Good job, Hakon! I should have killed you. If you are curious, I got the survivor ending, with the protagonist leaving with Levan. There was only one last thing I had to do. Let's do this one more time, brothers. I'm not taking the stairs, dude. I just want to visit an old friend. Bradley? Are you home, my brother? Bradley? <laughs> I am strolling along, just minding my business, humming a song. I'm happy by myself, not a care in the world. This is a life, just me, my.